Hey, welcome back. Chuck here with American Travel Fun. Today we're going to take a look at the hydro explosion in Yellowstone National Park. More specifically at Biscuit Basin Thermal Area. Now I'm just going to let the video play and let you guys see and I'll talk at the end. She ran to the other side. Holy shit. It's covered in the sun. At around 10 o'clock a.m. MST time, on July 23rd, 2024, yesterday for most of us, a small hydrothermal explosion rocked Yellowstone Biscuit Basin Thermal Area. This spot is about 2.1 miles northwest of Old Faithful, a must-see on any visit to the park. A visitor caught this event on video, obviously, showing the boardwalk taking some serious damage. Luckily, no one was hurt. The explosion seemed to have started near Black Diamond Pool, an area known for its geothermal activities. Following the explosion, Biscuit Basin, including the parking lot and boardwalks, was temporarily closed to ensure the safety of visitors. However, the Grand Loop does remain open, so you can still explore other parts of the park. Yellowstone geologists are on the scene investigating the cause and ensuring everything is going to be safe in the future. Hopefully, unless it's the big one coming. Now you might be wondering what exactly a hydrothermal explosion is. I know, I kind of was, so I checked it out. These can occur when water underground suddenly flashes to steam. It's like when you overheat your water in a microwave and it suddenly erupts and the lid starts moving back and forth and everything. You're disrupting it. The same concept here. The phenomenon, 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 phenomenon. This is relatively common in Yellowstone. For instance, Pork Chop Geyser and Norris Geyser Basin had a notable explosion in 1989. More recently, monitoring equipment recorded a small event near the same area on April 15th, 2024. And this isn't the first time Biscuit Bay had such activity. On May 17th, 2009, a similar explosion occurred in the same area. For those interested in the technical details, more information is available on USGS site. I'll have that down in the description below for you guys, where they discuss the nature of the hydrothermal explosion in Yellowstone. Now, what's reassuring is that monitoring data shows that no changes in Yellowstone's volcanic system, which is a good thing if you've been waiting for the big one, you know, because they do have that super volcano there, in case you didn't know. But yeah, this is not that. This is not a lead up to that. You don't have to worry. Everything's normal there, they say. These events are not caused by magma rising towards the surface, but are due to sudden steam formation underground, as we discussed earlier. And if you are planning a visit to Yellowstone, just keep an eye on the updates regarding the park, closures, and safety notices because of, you know, things like this. Not saying this is common by any means, but enough to where you want to check. While Biscuit Basin is temporarily off limits, the rest of the park offers plenty to see and do. And remember, always stay on the marked paths and boardwalks because of things like this, because you don't want this to happen to you. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and let me know what you guys thought. Did you, have you guys ever seen anything like this before? When you went to a park, any park, national park, state park, don't care, international park, whatever it is. Let me know what crazy thing you guys have seen. Me, I haven't seen anything crazy. I, I always go when it's a boring day and it's pretty outside, the birds are chirping. And yeah, it's, it's just your basic park day. I don't get this. Well, that's all I got for this one. Thankfully, everyone was okay. Until next time, have fun, guys.